Okay, so this is the, <clears throat> technically it's the second part. Uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and go over each individual aspect of this. I'm going to go ahead and break it into different videos. Um, so this is actually like the third or, or fourth chart I did, and I came up with some different ideas that was a little bit better. And then for my final one, I think this is probably going to be the final one. Um, I'm going to shrink this down, and this will probably be the one that gets taped uh, to my rifle. If not, uh, I've got this one. We'll just have to see. Um, so starting off with just the drop, um, how I get that is fairly simple. Um, but we've got our yardage, uh, 100 to 1,000. So most of the time, most of my shooting is going to be done probably closer to about 500, 500 or less. Um, I do have some places where I can get out to a thousand, a little bit more, but um, I don't do that very often anymore because they close my range down. Um, so it's mostly now 500 and under. So that does change a little bit of what I would normally do. Um, but I went ahead and ran this one out to a thousand yards. Um, so our drop is going to be our true data. Um, so the way that we get this, and we have to make sure that we do this correctly, or else essentially you just have numbers on here that aren't correct. Um, so we're going to, you know, either develop a load, if you're using factory ammunition, whatever it is, it needs to be consistent. Uh, for me, I reload, so I developed a load. Um, I went out to the range, out to, I think it was 1,400 yards. Um, I got muzzle velocity. I used applied ballistics and got a, um, a BC, like the actual correct BC that's tested further down range. Um, and I'm actually using a, uh, a custom drag model. Um, but anyway, so I did all that. Then I went and verified these all the way out to 1,400 yards. Um, shot it, wrote it down, came back, confirmed everything with temperature, all that good stuff. So this is going to be our trued dropped from 100 yards all the way out to 1,000 or whatever you have available. Um, if you don't have 1,000, then you can't really true to 1,000. You can only true to Let's say if you only have 500, then you can only true to 500. So you should at least do that. Um, if you true to 500, you should still be really close. Probably not perfect, but should be close enough for like six or seven. Um, I did see on mine, what I ended up doing is um, shooting to 300. Um, and then I trued it because I didn't have my muzzle velocity. Um, then I shot at 500, retrued it, and then 7, retrued. That way I could work all the way out. Um, I didn't do that on this one, but another thing I had to do that on just because I didn't have correct muzzle velocity. Um, so that is how we're going to get our drop. Uh, in the next video, I'm gonna we're going to talk about our uh, quick drop number, 2.2, uh, how to get that. Um, you're going to have multiple multiple numbers, uh, which ones to use, uh, when to use them, and actually bracketing that number. So stay tuned.